what's up everybody it's your girl sunshine and today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to change the muffler today i'm going to be working with the freightliner classic xl i've already changed the muffler on the other side so i want to show you guys how i changed this muffler this is my new muffler um let's see in the box and the first thing I'm going to, I think it cost it like $85 or $95, I forgot. But anyways, so the first thing I'm gonna do is examine the muffler. As you guys can see, it has a cage around it and it has a clamp right here and a clamp up in there and then it has a C clamp. Sorry if I'm using improper terms, but the first thing I'm gonna do is take this cage off and then I'm gonna start working with, cause you guys can see that's leaning. So obviously I'm gonna have to take that down <laughs> or it's gonna fall on me as I start loosening stuff up. So let's take the cage off. In order to take the cage off, you're going to have one, two, three, four little, uh, I believe nine, that's half inch nuts so i'm gonna be taking my ratchet and screwing those off you have four at the bottom and four at the top and the cage is gonna come off so let me pause the video and take the cage off okay you guys so i've already taken the bottom ones off but before i take the top ones off uh as you guys can see these nuts are like a little bit rusty so i'm gonna be hitting it with some um brake cleaner i don't have any wd-40 or pv blast or whatever um so don't judge me and i'm about to get on my ladder and climb up there and get those four bolts down and then we can take the cage off okay so now that i have the cage off what i'm going to be doing is it has two of these clamps that i need to put on the other the new muffler so if you go over here wait not over there over here um there's a let's see no that's a i think that's half nine sixteenth so let me see if it's half inch yeah that's a half inch too so what i'm gonna do is use this side to hold the it has like a washer on the other side i'm gonna use it to hold it in place first i'm gonna hit it with some brake cleaner because i didn't do that because the cage was blocking it and let it sit for a second and then let's see take a half inch socket with a ratchet and a wrench and take this clamp off and this should pull out and then you okay you guys so here's the two brackets off of the thing the muffler now i'm going to be taking that pipe down because as you guys can see it's crooked so if you see there's two u-boat clamps uh, on there I have to take the bolts off of them and I'm gonna get up there and tell you guys I believe it's a size 13 and or 9 16 I'm gonna take those off and take the um, exhaust pipe off and that will be pulling it out that's the only thing that's holding mines right now so stay tuned so as you guys can see, my muffler was, I mean, my exhaust pipe was barely on there. I took one clamp off and it fell. <laughs> well, it didn't fall, I had to pull it out. And this thing costs like $195. So I'm trying to decide whether I want to replace it or not. Well, I can't, I'm not gonna try to decide. I'm gonna decide if it doesn't fit into my new uh, pipe because of how the end is bent up, I'm going to have to go back and buy one that was part of the reason why I'm taking this one out. It's extremely rusted on the inside. I wish I'm gonna climb up here and show you guys. <laughs> like it's rust city and I just want new, since I replaced the other one, I just wanted to replace this one. Y'all, if my phone would have fell down in that hole, <laughs> cause I'm so clumsy. But um, this C-clamp is the only thing that's holding this, this top of the muffler on and then there's two at the bottom that's the only thing that's holding it so once you take the c clamps off um and this big clamp right here that's connected to this pipe and this 
it's pretty much going to I'm gonna have to de you know take a wire brush and kind of loosen up some of that rust in there and it should come off so let's just see okay so y'all don't judge Big Daddy I know y'all see all that tree sap Big Daddy has been sitting up under a big old oak tree uh, for all of the summer so he's really dusty um, I'm not gonna get him power washed until I uh, get my the rest of my lights wired speaking of lights let's see if he turned them off yeah he turned them off um so look you can see the mud flap i mean the muffler <laughs> is hanging and the c clamps was the only thing that was holding it so down here at the bottom i'm gonna be working on these which as you can see they look a little bit like they're gonna give me a fight but i'm up for it so let's get started so let me show you guys what i just noticed I was so busy trying to take off these clamps, I mean these bolts right here, that I was rocking it and I noticed my, um, it's not connected down there. I don't know if you can see this, but like right there, the pipe, to I would just call that a Y pipe because it shapes like a Y, it's completely not connected. So I'm going to have to fix that. So I'm, I might as well just take off, just not even focus on these pipes, taking off these bolts and just completely take off only those and pull the whole thing off so i'll show you guys that okay so i'm having an issue where this elbow pipe is stuck in here so i thought i was going to just like leave it on there and i called the dealership to get a replacement one y'all not gonna believe this so this big muffler is only 85 dollars right at the dealership or maybe 95 dollars this right here that elbow chrome is a hundred and ninety something dollars so i'm like okay do you have like an aftermarket a galvanized just for this little elbow piece the galvanized one non-chrome is 230 dollars so i'm looking at this piece of pipe my problem is i can't get these bolts they're so stuck on there but something we about to take a metal grinder or some sort and try to like slightly cut through there and save this piece because i refuse to pay 200 dollars for an elbow so let's see what the grinder can do so i want you guys to see where i stopped i kept having to go in and out the house to dispatch and do multiple things so i was able to get um save the other pipe from the other muffler so I put a C clamp on there and now I'm just taking the wrench, the ratchet and tightening it up. This is where I'm gonna leave it. I've already put the other um, pipes together. Well, honestly, I'm about to decide whether I should uh, close this job out, put the other pieces. I don't feel like doing those clamps, those C clamps. So I think I'm gonna leave the project like this this is what I say <laughs> it wasn't easy saving this part I had to use a circular grinder and cut off the old rusty parts but hey versus me paying hundred and ninety five dollars for a new chrome elbow when this one came out all right I think I would rather much go through it took me at least like an extra 30 minutes to pry all the old rusted pieces off of this one to save it so this is what I'm using I'm just clamping it to the underneath pipe and I'm going to leave it like this and finish the rest tomorrow there's Jason he's testing the lights the breather lights let me show you guys where we hook the lights up right there so he also spit shined the crap out of these windows today, y'all. <laughs> so it honestly makes the truck look even dirtier, but we have our lights is working. I gotta fix that center light, it's disconnected. I might um, hook that back up. Let's see, it looks like he's about to turn it off. This light has, we ordered the harness, the wiring harness for it because um, as you can see, something in the wiring system is not grounded right and it's not turning on that front bulb, which is nothing wrong with the bulb. We checked it, but the only lights that we have to get connected so far is these 
side LEDs. But we're gonna stop the project right here on the muffler and then we're gonna finish the rest tomorrow. So I think I know I have an issue because this has to, uh, he's about to start the truck, so. guys so this is day two um i put the, the clamp elbow back on there and put a strap underneath it i also put mounted the uh muffler back on there and that's how it's looking now it's still kind of slightly a little bit crooked but it's the best that i could do to get that thing in there um i put the clamps on just enough to get the boat started over here now i'm about to put that cage on here so that I can line it up with the holes and be able to still turn this then once I have the cage lined up with it all the holes uh, then I'm gonna tighten these screws and I have to go and buy another u-boat for that upper so I'm gonna be doing that uh, probably after the new year but um, Big Daddy is getting ready to go and get the lights these lights wired up because we couldn't figure out how to do it so we're gonna be uh taking him over to memphis and having one of our favorite mechanics wire it up and that's all folks stay tuned